Hey, what's going on guys? We are uh, in Tulum, Mexico. This is our first Airbnb. We'll do a little bit of a tour. Mariana is looking up where our first cenote that we're gonna go to. So, let's see. Let's start off, let me open up the door. We have a plunge pool. With a little hammock, kinda cool. Here, this is my most favorite thing. It's got a giant rotating giant rotating stone door. I feel like we're in the Middle Ages. It's pretty cool. Here's Ariana. I feel like this is gonna be a really bad tour. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see it when we're done. There's a cool stone sink. Stone's kind of their theme here. Go over to the right, you got the shower. Kind of an indoor, outdoor shower you can open up to the outside. Roll over to the left, you got the bathroom. Very simple. This whole place is pretty small and simple, but since we're on the move, we don't need a lot. Do you love it? I like it here a lot. You nice. should take them outside. I took them outside. No, I didn't like it. Okay. It's a community pool. Let's go to the community pool. We got the cool kitchen. Wow, that looks ballin'. Woo! Dope ass pool. Kind of lap pool style with some steps on the inside. Going up to the spa. You walk upstairs and there's this beautiful outdoor living space. Glass railings looking down on the pool. Just amazing. Look at these cool views. It's all out, indoor, outdoor. <sighs> Look how nice it is, guys. How far back did you go? Seems like it goes on a ways over there. We had a pretty fun morning getting a scooter rental and also going to Grand Cenote, which was super cool. It was a little crowded, but it's because we went in the middle of the day. Now we're back at the villa. We're getting ready to go out for drinks tonight with a friend who also happens to be in Tulum. And right now we're just gonna enjoy the pool. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, what's going on guys? We're going to our second cenote. And what cenote is it? Calavera. Calavera cenote. Yeah. 100 pesos per person. Yes. White sand beach. Beautiful white sand beach. Yeah. And we took a cab to get here. Spencer followed on our motorbike. We had some issues with our uh, luggage, so that was kind of exciting. But here, we'll leave the beach. Just got to the second place, the hotel. And it's super cool. So you walk in from the beach, which is this way. Come up. Here. And there's a little patio and a shower outside. Huge sliding doors, super high vaulted ceilings, really pretty little canopy bed. You come around the back. A little view from the window. We got a beach or a garden view. Closet. Bathroom. shower which is almost outdoors but still enclosed which is nice just in case it's raining at night little vanity 
And yeah, that's the whole place. It's super cute. What do you think? I think it has a lot of character. Yeah, it's cute. Charm. So we're a little uh, hot from the sun. Hot, like yeah. sticky. So probably gonna get settled in here, turn on the AC, and then maybe head back out to the beach or grab a bite. So we'll catch you soon. Ready? Go in there. video or me just saying like yeah we'll see you there and then I never take my camera out so anyways we're gonna try it tonight sorry we look crazy we have at least 15 mile an hour gusts right oh now. my god not to mention like on the motorbike Spencer thinks he's hot shit and he goes I am hot 80 shit. kilometers per hour no. <laughs> just blowing through no yes yes all right so off to mezzanine and hopefully we will see you there. This is our view for dinner. But right beyond it, it's really pretty. Are they like can see us? I think so, just barely. Maybe if we like. So what did we get? We got. I got a vegan pad thai. And cow pot. And a strawberry margarita. And. Still psyche Amber. Yeah. So I'll try to do a time lapse or something, but it's really dark. We'll see how it works. Buenos dias. This is day. I said three yesterday, so. so four. <laughs> day four in Tulum. Today's plan is we need to renew our motorbike rental because we only had it for two days. We need to get more money and get it converted. We are going to go to another cenote mm -hmm. and maybe hit the beach and do some more tanning. So right now we're just enjoying some morning coffee. And getting ready, and then we're heading out. So today was a total bust. We didn't make it to the Sinaut days, but we did just make it like a beach day where we're just hanging out. We walked the total span of the beach and are right next to the ruins, which we're gonna get a better look at tomorrow. But in the meantime, Spencer's gonna grab some drone footage. Possibly not the ruins. Possibly was not, but it was still a cool shot regardless. It might have been like a business. Yeah. Or somebody's house. Okay, battery's dying, but we came to Mina's again because it was so good. And after this, we're gonna get some gelato and I might just take footage on my phone if, <laughs> if my camera dies, but yeah. yeah. We just couldn't get enough of the tacos here and the view is honestly like the best we've come across in Tulum so far. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're back for some more tacos mm -hmm. and we're gonna enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. So last stop the evening is this little gelato place um, right across the street from Mina and where we get spent. We have <laughs> strawberry and passion fruit gelato. Oh, Super good. Of course, all vegan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Smell like sherbet. Yeah. There they see also. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Today we're gonna go to the Tulum Mayan ruins. We're gonna check them out. I'm gonna get some drone footage and see how it is. God, it's a beautiful day.
were walking over to the ruins, we saw a sign that says no drone footage. Yeah. So I guess we're not gonna get any drone footage. We'll just get some standing on the ground footage. Yeah, we'll try to still get some cool G7X shots, but we'll see what we come up with. Nothing that exciting. Spencer. All right, so we are going to go on a snorkeling and boating adventure. We're going to fly by the uh, Mayan ruins and again. then again and then we're going to go out to the outer reef. We have, I've been informed we've been going to the inner reef, the inner shelf. We will be going to the outer shelf and we will be seeing the fishes and the wildlife. Also speaking of wildlife, there is a <laughs> slick little gecko up there in the top. He's so cute, look. Yeah. The other night, unfortunately, we saw one fall from like 10 feet. He just dropped off the ceiling, but he scurried <laughs> away, so he's probably fine. Well, he'll see us there. I'm going to get some GoPro footage of the fishies. Be and hopefully we'll also see some manta rays because every time we go somewhere tropical we are always told there are mantas and I want to see one in real life. But so. we're not going to get close. <laughs> we're not going to get near them. We will not pay those prices. <laughs> snorkeling which was my first time ever snorkeling it's really cool there were turtles probably like literally no joke half the size of me would you say yeah. some of them were pretty big like half they're my big size. turtles big stingrays big stingrays a couple fish the pelicans would come right up to you and just like land next to you it's pretty cool so yeah now we're back on land just gonna sunbathe for a little bit yeah it's our last full day here in Tulum so we're going to get some Drone shots at the beach, it's pretty early. It's like 8 a.m. So hopefully no one will be there and we can get some really cool cinematic shots. And then we'll probably go grab some lunch. Catch you there.
breakfast. We got up a little early this morning to do some drone footage on the beach, which is pretty slick. <laughs> um, we're getting two acai bowls and a couple of juices, so we'll see how they turn out. I'm laying in bed in the hotel room after somebody had a little bit too much fun today and got sunburned in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got too much sun and now it can't be in the sun anymore. So it's our last full day in Mexico. We went to the beach, we had some tacos, again, some guacamole. I think we've had guacamole at least two times today. It's criminal. Every time we've been here. Yeah, so tomorrow we gotta get up early, we gotta take the scooter back, and then we have to take a, what, two hour ride to the airport, so it's very slow, a lot of bumps. And then fly to LA and then fly back home. What was your favorite part? Uh, Mexico? Yeah. The sun, dude. Right now, it had to be the sun. I like the 85 to 87 degree weather, um, big change from snow back home. Yeah. I'll insert a clip of uh, what we were dealing with last week before we left. <laughs> it's wild. But yeah, right now our room's pretty much annihilated. We need to get packed up and uh, figure out what's going on for the rest of the night. Probably just staying in, like Spencer said, because we both um, burned a little today. But at least we waited till the last day, you know? So. Anyways, it was a really, really cool trip. Thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe because we're going to San Fran in a couple weeks after this. So we'll catch you there. See you later.